Hey everybody and welcome back. What we're going to do is talk about the new feature from Google Forms. This is the one that we've all been waiting for uh, because one of the things that's been lacking is this inability to actually grade assignments without adding in any extra extensions um, or add-ons into your Google Sheets. Uh, so what we can do now in Google Forms is actually turn Google Forms into a quiz, which is sort of a revolutionary idea when it comes to using this in Google Classroom. Uh, so I know a lot of people do use this uh, quite frequently, use forms to assess student knowledge and student understanding of various topics. And now what we can do is actually take multiple choice and true and false questions and have Google Sheets, uh, I'm sorry, Google Forms actually grade it automatically, uh, which is really, really cool, really neat idea. So let's go ahead, let's talk about it. I'll show you how to do it and what it looks like on both the student side and the teacher side. All right, so first of all, we need a quiz. So I created a test quiz. Two questions, really easy. One is multiple choice. Uh, the other one is true and false, but really they're both multiple choice type questions. Now, again, one thing that the add-on Flubaroo can do, uh, which is how a lot of people do grade these, the add-on Flubaroo does allow you to grade for a short answer. Uh, Google Forms can't do that yet. Don't know if they will, don't know if they ever will. But uh, as of right now, it's just multiple choice and multiple choices, technically you can turn that into true uh, versus false. If you still wanna do short answer, then you're gonna have to do Flubaroo. Um, or what you can do is set up manual grading, which you can actually go back in and select the correct answers. Uh, so it's either one or the other as of right now. So let's show you just what the automatic grading looks like um, and from start to finish, here we go. So I have my quiz, I'm ready to go. Um, and right now it's not a quiz. So up in this in this uh, cog wheel up here, we are going to, this is the settings button, we're gonna click on settings. And uh, it's gonna be a little bit slow right now. Okay, there we go. Um, and we actually wanna turn this into a quiz. So across the top, uh, this they change this format a little bit um, different differently. Uh, so we're going to make this a quiz. We're going to end up assigning point values, creating an answer key for each question, and so it can grade it automatically. All right, so we can actually re release grades immediately after each submission. So as soon as the student submits it, they can see the correct answer, um, they can see missed questions, uh, plus they can see what the, the point values were for each one. And you can uncheck any of these. Um, also, you can set it up for later um, manual reviewing where you're gonna go in and actually select if the person got it right or wrong. So this could be this portion of the short answer, um, but uh, right now we're just gonna have it correct itself, grade itself, and produce the uh, results for the students to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and press save. So now it is a quiz, and, but for a quiz to work, we need to actually create the answer key. So I'm gonna scroll down just a little bit. And if I click on my first question here, uh, it's going to give me an option down in the lower left uh, that says answer key, uh, if it loads. Un momento, por favor. Mm -hmm. Just waiting. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll down and at the very bottom, it's gonna say answer key. So for this answer key, we're gonna click on it. Uh, it's gonna, it changes the window slightly and it's turning it into an answer key. Now we're gonna select the correct answers. Now we are able to select multiple ones. So say that this was a multiple, multiple choice test, if that make any sense. Uh, you can select different ones to be correct. So say that there are two or three correct answers on here, uh, you can select two or three. Uh, so today is Tuesday, so I'm gonna select Tuesday, and it marks it as correct, so that's my correct answer. That's what it's gonna compare everything against. Uh, the point values, I can change this and just say that we give it one point, and you can change this to whatever you want. So this question is now one point. You can provide answer feedback as well. Um, we're not gonna do this right now, just for time's sake, so just know that you can provide feedback for each question. Uh, so that question's done, let's move on to the other question. Let's select our correct answer. Uh, the question here is, today is tomorrow's yesterday. Hmm, uh, true statement. So we're gonna click on answer key once again. This is a true and false type question, but remember it's still just a multiple choice uh, question format within Google Forms. We're gonna click on true. So this is now creating this correct answer for this question. We're gonna change the point value 
for this one. And again, you could change it to whatever you want. Let's just make this, uh, let's make it a one. Uh, so this is a two point quiz. And that's it. So your quiz is all set up. Now, just like before, you can't just share the link at the top of the page. What you need to do is go over here to the send button. We click on send. And we're just waiting a little bit. All right. One thing as a teacher and you have Google Apps for educators, you want to make sure that you're collecting usernames um, because that'll make grading these things and assigning those grades to students uh, a little bit easier. Actually, a heck of a lot easier because you're not uh, you could do uh, a question set up with their name, first name, last name and so on. But this way it'll collect their username um, and everything right away. So it's already set up. OK, what I'm going to do is grab the link here. I'm going to copy the link. We're going to open up a new tab. We're going to actually take the form or take the quiz now. And as soon as it loads, we'll take this quiz and then I'm going to show you on the teacher end what it looks like uh, and what the results look like. So and also from the student perspective. So right now this is loading. Uh, we're going to look at the student perspective of what this Google form quiz actually looks like. And we're just going to give it a moment. A very long moment. OK, so we have our test quiz. What day of the week is today? And it shows me the point value. So I know how much each question is worth. I know that students always ask me that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and let's select the wrong answer for this question. We're going to click on Wednesday. OK, it's going to select that answer. And then we're going to scroll down. We're going to uh, today is tomorrow's yesterday. Let's say that we are going to get this question correct. So I'm going to select true and I'm going to submit. Okay, I'm submitting my quiz right now. It's also going to give me some instantaneous feedback right here. So this is, well, <laughs> as instantaneous as my browser wants to refresh. Okay, just waiting. Uh, it's grading this automatically. It's going to give me uh, the correct answers. Uh, it's also going to show me if I got a question wrong, what the correct answer is. So it gives them instant feedback. They don't have to wait around. Um, and OK, so here we go. We can submit another response if we want. And you can always change this in the general form setting if you only want them to submit this quiz once. Uh, we're going to go ahead and view the score. And it's going to open up the exact quiz that I just submitted and show me my responses. Plus, give me some feedback. Yep. All right, here we go. So this first question, it, it shows me what day of the week is today. I got this question wrong. Uh, I only got a total of points of one out of two. It shows me the correct answer down below. So again, really, really cool feature. It gives them this uh, formative feedback right away. And if I scroll down, it'll also show me if I got a question correct or not. So right here, today is tomorrow's yesterday. I got it right, true true answer, uh, good to go. Let's see what it looks like from the teacher side uh, back in the Google form, okay? Uh, so again, I just sent the form, the students have already taken it. So this is after the quiz is already complete. Uh, I can go in and actually see what these responses are. So th this, isn't, this isn't really anything new. Um, the only thing that this does now is allow me to, to turn the, these responses, all this data, and turn it into actual grades. Uh, so it gives me a summary. So I have one response so far. Um, it gives me a point distribution. It also shows me a couple other things, a couple other cool features as well. Uh, so we're just going to give this a second to load. Okay, just waiting on this to load. There we go. All right, cool thing here. Uh, it shows us the average grade, the median grade, the range. Uh, now, obviously, we only have one one person has taken this so far. Uh, total point distribution. This is of the total grades, and it shows me uh, very detailed, very detailed uh, sort of feedback here. Frequently missed questions. What day of the week is today? So, uh, no longer do we have to just sift through all this data and look to see. Okay, oh. Six people got this question wrong. It'll show us automatically what are the frequently missed questions. Uh, this gives me overall, as a class, how everybody did, it shows me what the correct answers are. Um, today is tomorrow is yesterday. It shows me what this response was and that it was correct. So if I scroll back up, the other nice feature is that we can go to individual views. So if I go to the individual, 
I can actually see that this is uh, from response number one. What day of the week is today? Boom, we got our answer. Um, and this is just the individual responses from each person. Uh, now, obviously what we can do is um, we can open this up in a Google Sheet if we wanted to. It just exports all the data over to a Google spreadsheet and then we could download it from there, print it out, whatever you wanna do. Um, but this is the new and improved Google Forms. So with the quiz functionality, I think this is gonna make a lot of people happy um, and I hope you enjoy. All right, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.